deputy head teacher at Saltash.net Community School in Cornwall in the United Kingdom. Now I'm here today to tell you about the new reference function in Microsoft's Word 2010. It's something that makes referencing and creating bibliographies much easier. So whether you're a student completing some coursework for school or a teacher completing professional development um, like action research to, uh, where you have to create your own references or bibliography these things can become a real chore. I'm going to show you now how, the, how we can use Microsoft Office 2010 to make this much much easier. Okay so you open up Word and then along the top of the tab there is a, a tab called references then you look at manage sources and as you can see I've already got a couple in here so I'm going to actually delete those from there so my current list is empty now so I'm going to start a new project now now on the left hand side here is a master list so any books or any sources of information that I've used on my computer uh, in the past uh, so this, you know, these are something I did a couple of weeks ago. Look, I, I did these books. Um, they'll be here in my master list. So if those things are actually applicable to the piece of work that I'm working on now, I can copy them across onto my current bibliography just by doing that. I then might want to obviously add some new uh, references. So to do that, I just click on new. I then select the type of source it is. It's not a website. The one I'm going to add now is just a book. So I click on book and then it asks me to complete these options. So I'm going to add a few in here. This one is by Jam Webb. And the title of her book um, is How to Create Innovids, which is one of the things that you're watching at the Microsoft Easter Camp. That's the title of the book. That was created in 2011. The city was Reading and the publisher was Microsoft Partners in Learning. I then press OK and it adds it all for me. So as you can see it automatically then adds it there. Now the great thing about this is, is that as well as books and, and journal articles and lots of other things, a really useful thing is about adding things like websites. Especially lots of students these days are part of the coursework uh, when they're researching things that will use the internet um, a lot. So on one of the great things about this is, is encouraging people to use references and use it in the in, in the correct way um, it actually asks you for the you know the, the, the things they ask you to input here um, really help students and also uh, teachers think about the information that they're collecting so if we click on website here um, we're going to put uh, one of the websites of my actual blog so I'm the author the name of the web page is why did the chicken the road name of the website edgy blogs year 2011 month okay so yeah this is asking for the year it was started so 2009 May 22nd year accessed is today which is the 20th of April and then it asks for the URL so I then just paste the it, copy and paste the URL into here and then it's all done so as you can see it automatically then adds it uh, to there Okay, so then basically once I've finished my piece of work, so I would just slowly, as I'm uh, using different references within my work, I would just keep building this uh, list of references up, and then I would you know, finish the piece of work. So at the very end then, once I want to create my actual bibliography for my work, I would then click on this tab here, Bibliography, and then I would click on Insert Bibliography, and it will automatically insert the list of references that I've been accumulating while I've been doing my work and there you go and it does it all for you and puts it in the, all the right order I think this is a fantastic tool that which makes referencing really really easy um, and I think you should have a go at this and try it good luck happy referencing